here. Now, wait a second. We're not going in. <laughs> Darling, this is the start of a whole new life for us. Sort of a second honeymoon. Wouldn't it be easier if I walked? No, I'm going to carry you. <laughs> you can't open it. No. Why don't we come back another time? Like next year? Don't worry. We'll get in. Are we always going to come in the house this way? Oh, no, I'll, I'll fix the front door. There now. <laughs> Won't you help me climb back outside? <laughs> Oliver, did you really see this house when you bought it? Of course. In the daytime? Yes. And you bought it? Lisa, I, I wanted this farm. I had to have it. Haven't you ever seen a dress you just had to have, although it was too small and the style was not right, you bought it anyway? Yes, but I never bought a dress like this. Honey, you know this house is over 100 years old. Just think what we can do with this. I am thinking. <laughs> well, it's going to look a lot better once we get our furniture in here. We'll put the, put the couch right here, you know. And then in the winter, you and I can sit on the couch. We can gaze into the fireplace and listening to the crackling of the log. <laughs> and the falling of the bricks. <laughs> oh, I can fix this with a little glue. I say one thing for this house. It has a good-sized closet. Well, that's the bedroom. <laughs> How are we going to get a king-size bed in there? We'll build bunk beds. <laughs> I'll fix it. Whatever it is. Good morning, gentlemen. I don't believe you've met my wife. <laughs> Mr. Drucker. This is Mrs. Douglas. Uh, how do you do, Mr. Drucker? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is Mr. Pratt. Uh, he's the engineer of that little train that uh, took us out to Shady Rest. <laughs> I am delighted to meet you, Mr. Pratt. It's such a quaint little train. How do you do? Uh, this is Mr. Smoot. <laughs> Mr. Carson. Of course. I know just how you feel about living in the country. It's a <clears throat> difficult adjustment for us city girls. Are you from the city? Oh, can't you tell? Well, of course, I, I've lived in the country for a long while. But, uh, you know something? My husband was a lot like yours. He always wanted to own a hotel in a small town. So I uh, just gave up my career in show business and moved here. Quiet. She left me too. You don't hear me whining. Let her go back to New York. We're going to stay right here. We'll be all right. Of course, I'm going to miss her. Are you? Oh, what kind of a stupid question is that? <laughs> Lisa. I thought you were on your way back to New York. I was. What made you change your mind? Mrs. Bradley. Do you know, she was a city girl, and she gave up her career in show business to move out here with her husband. How could you tell Miss Douglas a story like that? It's true. You didn't come from the city. What do you call pig sleep? Well, it ain't exactly New York. And telling her you gave up a career in show business. I did. Taking tickets at the Pixley Bijou ain't show business. An awful lot of the fellows used to wink at me. This ain't gonna work, Kate. Miss Douglas ain't gonna fall for a phony story like that. Darling. Lisa. Our first night in our own farmhouse. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, please hit the like button.